Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jackie and if you've barely done yoga in your life before, you don't know what it's all about, you don't know the names of the poses, then this video is for you. We're going to focus mainly on standing postures today and I'll take you through the correct alignment of each of the ones that we'll do. If you do have a couple of blocks, then they will come in handy. Um, but if you don't, then don't worry, I'll give you some different variations that you can take um, or you can try to find some big books or even some sturdy boxes work as well. Uh, so go get yourself set up and meet me back here on the mat. Let's start standing up today. So bring the feet about hip width distance apart or just a little bit wider. We're going to start with a bit of dynamic meditation. Now you don't want to be leaning too far forward on your feet or dropping too far back on your heels. So just bring the weight nicely in the center arches of both feet and try to point the toes uh, forward rather than out to the side. So nice and relaxed with the body, soft through the knees. You want to keep the nice alignment of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head so we're not twisting or leaning forward or backwards. And from here, let's close down the eyes, soften the arms and the sides, soften the knees, and just start to bounce up and down. The feet will stay grounded without lifting the toes or the heels, just little bounces through your body. Let the arms hang loose. The neck is nicely on top of your spine. And just notice the parts of your body that are vibrating right now. Feeling this sensation from your feet up through your legs, in your belly, chest and shoulders, arms and in your head. Nice, soft, tight bounces. Try not to twist the body so everything stays just in one straight line. Maybe start to make the bouncing a little faster now. And notice where you're feeling that the most. Try to take deep, full breaths as you do this. In through your nose, filling your lungs and expanding your belly, and out through your mouth. Another couple just like that. Keep bouncing, stay with it. Breathe in deep through your nose. Release out through your mouth. Let's do one more. Deep breath in. Sigh it out. And then start to slow down the bouncing. Still keeping everything nice and relaxed. Until you eventually come to a stop. And you're just standing. Nice and still. Feel the sensations running up and down your body. Maybe still feeling the vibration the shaking internally. Just take a few more breaths here to observe what's happening inside. And then on the next breath, let's blink open the eyes. All right, keeping the feet about hip width distance apart, toes pointing forward. Let's take the right hand down to the side of our right thigh. Take a big breath in and reach the left arm all the way up. Reach up as high as you can with those left fingertips. Soft through the knees. And on the next breath out, we're going to bend over to the right side, drawing the right hand down the right thigh. Only to as far as you can feel a slight stretch through the left side of your body. On the next breath in, come back up. Other side, left hand to the left thigh. Breathe and right arm raises up. Reach up as high as you can and then breathe out, sliding the left hand down as you bend over to the left. 
As you do this, try to notice if this right shoulder is staying back or if you're dropping forward. We want to try and keep rolling that right shoulder back. Breath in, let's come back up. One more time each side, right hand down, left arm up. Breathe out, bend over to the side. Maybe you can find a little more depth this time. And then breathing in back to center. Last time, left arm down, right arm up. And breathe out, bend over to the left. Feel the stretch through your right side. And then coming back to center. Let's take the hands and bring them on top of our thighs, or just above the knees, and bend the knees down. Stand, taking a standing cat cow here. So let's take a breath in, roll the shoulders back, bring the chest forward, lift the head and the gaze up to the sky. And as you breathe out, push the hands into your thighs, curl in through the belly, tuck the chin and the tailbone. Finding this nice stretch through the rounding of the upper spine. Breathing in, coming forward again, open the chest, breathe into your chest. Breathing out, round through the spine, scooping in the belly, pushing the hands into your thighs. Couple more times, breathing in, opening up. And breathe out, round through the spine, curl the shoulders forward, tuck the tailbone and the chin. One last time, breathe in, open through the spine, roll the shoulders back. Breathing out, round through the spine. And then take this rounding and come to stand all the way up to the mat. Roll the shoulders back, bring the head back in line with your spine. Let's take a big breath in, open the arms wide, squeeze the shoulder blades in the back, energy through the fingertips. And then breathing out, bring, bring your arms around you for a big hug. Try to reach as far around your body as you can. And then take the shoulders and the chin down. <clears throat> breathe and open the arms wide again breathe out cross the arms the other way soft through the knees not locking into the joints one more time each side breathe and open the chest squeeze the shoulder blades in the back breathing out big hug crossing the arms around the first way that you did and breathing and opening up breathing out Hugging yourself. Nice big hug. Just let your arms grip onto your shoulders and let the elbows hang down. On the next breath in, let's open the arms back up again. Take the arms behind your thighs, the back of your, sorry, the back of your legs. Soften through the knees. Feet are still hip width distance apart. And we're gonna take a fold forward, sliding the hands down the backs of the legs. Here's where you may want to grab your blocks if you can reach the floor, go for it. Otherwise, grab your blocks or whatever prop you have, place them on whatever height you need and rest your hands on top of the blocks. You wanna try and keep a nice straight spine still. So if you find that you're rounding and your shoulders are hunching forward, then try to tilt your sit bones towards the back of the mat and find this nice straight spine. Soft through the knees, we're not locking into the joints and then really grounded through the feet as well. You can let the head hang down a little and just feel the stretch in the backs of your legs. Lifting up the front side, the belly as well. Let's take a couple nice deep breaths here in through your nose and out through your nose. One more breath here. And on the next breath, press the right hand down into your block or the mat and lift the left arm up. Try to spin that left shoulder open. Press down through the right hand as you really reach up to the left as if someone was grabbing you by the fingertips and lifting you up. Breathing out, left hand comes down. Press down into the block, right arm reaches up. Spin the right shoulder open. Reach up as high as you can with those right fingertips. And then breathing out, bring the hands back down. And slowly rolling through the spine, stacking vertebra by vertebra on top of each other until you come all the way up to standing. Let's take the arms open, breathe in, reach them all the way up to the sky. 
interlace the fingers and then pull your hands upwards. You can take your gaze up to your hands or just look forward. Try to find as much length as you can through your body, creating as much space in between each vertebra as you can. Lift, lift, lift. And on the next breath, let's release and just shake it out. All right, nice and loose. Let's bring the blocks back to the side of the mat and we'll come to stand at the top in Tadasana. I'm gonna face you so you can see. So we'll bring the feet again underneath the hips, toes pointing directly forward, even turning the big toes slightly in so you've got the outside edges of the feet pretty much parallel with the short side of your mat. Now we're really grounding down into all parts of the foot, like the beginning in the meditation, we're not going too far forward or too far back onto the heels. We're not uh, sinking into the arches or lifting them up too much. We're really grounded evenly across all parts of the foot, feet. <laughs> Let's bring the knees slightly bent and then pull up the muscles above the kneecaps. Bring the pelvis and the hips into the center arches of your feet. That will help you shift the weight into the right place. And then lifting up through the belly and through the spine, roll the shoulders back, bring the arms to either side with the palms facing forward, energy through the fingertips, and then head sits nicely on top of your spine. Maybe you close down your eyes here. And just take a moment to notice all the muscles that are engaging in your body to help you stay in this position. It is a very active position, so we're not just standing and hanging out here. And it might feel slightly uncomfortable, maybe, if you spend a lot of the day with the shoulders hunched forward, this will feel like it's really stretching and opening. So let's just take one more breath here. And on the next breath, let's open up the eyes. Shift the weight over onto your right foot. And then we're gonna lift the left leg off into tree pose. So a few options here. You can place the toes down next to your right foot and rest the heel against the ankle. Other option is to use your hand and grab the ankle and then bring the foot all the way up onto the inner thigh. So it's up to you which option you take. Um, you have a little more grounding. If you have your toe down, you have um, a little bit more balance. Um, and stability there. So take the option that works for you. If you've got your foot pressed into your right thigh, try not to stick this right hip out, but you're pressing it in and then have a feeling of lifting it upwards as well. And then we're pressing the hips slightly forward, pressing the left knee slightly back. Again, not locking into this right supporting knee, slightly bent with the knee, but you're really activating the muscles above the kneecap to pull it up and keep you grounded. And with your right foot, you may be wobbling around a bit. That's totally fine. Try to find that balance, pressing down through all parts of the foot, pressing down on the big toe, the pinky toe side, the heel, the ball of the foot, so you're completely balanced. Take your gaze to one still point in front of you to help you with your balance as well. And we'll bring the hands to the heart center. Roll the shoulders back. Everything from the hip down is grounding you down and everything from the hips upward is lifting you up. All right, try to find your balance as best you can. And then on the next breath, let's release the left leg and just hug it into your chest. All right, when you do that, try not to pull your hips and your pelvis forward as you do that, but only bring the knee up to the point where you can still keep a fairly straight spine. On the next breath, let's turn the left knee out and then step it all the way back into our warrior two position. Just bring the hands to your hips for a second while we work on the feet. So the left foot is parallel with the short side of the mat and we're really pressing down into the outside edge, the pinky toe side. Again, the muscles above the kneecap are pulling up. We're really active through this leg. And then through the front foot, the toes are pointing to the top of the mat. The heel, if you draw a line towards the back foot, it will reach about the center arch of the foot. And then we'll bend down through that right knee. And make sure if you look down that your right knee is in line with your right hip and your right toes. If it's falling into the center, which it has a tendency to do, you want to press it back. And then find your hip bones. Are they pointing pretty much the side of the mat? That's great, that's where we want them to be. And if I can show you from the side, 
We don't want to stick our bum out and then sink into our lower back. We want to engage the lower abs by pulling it towards our ribs and then lengthening down the tailbone and flattening out the back. It will have a feeling maybe of a slight scooping under action. All right, from there, let's take our hands to the hips and press downwards. And you notice that when you press the hands down, you feel a rising up feeling or rising energy through the chest. So that's really nice. Everything from the hips is grounding you downwards. Everything from the hips up is lifting you up. And then keeping that energy in the body, let's just extend the arms to opposite ends of the mat. Still energy through the fingertips so they're not just hanging limb at the end of our arms. And we're taking our gaze over the right fingertips. Try to roll the shoulders back and down as well. All right, let's stay here for just one more breath. And then on the next breath, let's straighten off both legs. Step the left foot just a little bit closer. Micro bend in both legs. And then reach as far forward as you can with the right fingertips and send the left hip towards the back of the mat. You'll feel a slight stretch in the inner right thigh as you do that. And then with this length that you've created on the right side, try to keep that without um, curling and rounding over. We'll just bring that right hand to either the thigh or to your shin. You can also grab your block and place it on the inside of the right foot and rest your hand there. Other hand we can take to our hip. And then try to spin your left shoulder and your left hip open. So we want to feel like we're stuck in between two panes of glass. We want to be as flat as a pancake. You can either look up to the sky or look down towards your right foot. And if you're feeling comfortable there, you can also raise your left arm up to the sky. Try not to bring the shoulders up to the ears, but keep them pressed away. Keep pressing down through both feet and engaging the muscles above the kneecaps. All right, on the next breath in, bend through the front leg, coming back up, open the arms wide, and then standing back up to the top of your mat. We can move the block to the side. All right, coming back to our Tadasana and our tree pose. So just find yourself grounding down through both feet, Arms to either side, palms facing forward, lifting up, feeling that energy from the feet all the way to the crown of the head. And then shifting the weight over to the left leg, find your tree pose. So either the right toes down on the ground and pressing the, left, uh, the right foot against the left ankle or using your hand to bring the foot all the way up to your left thigh. Again, try not to push too much of this foot that this hip sticks out. You want to press this hip in and upwards. And you're really activating the muscle above the kneecap here to hold everything and keep you stable. Hands come to your heart center, roll the shoulders back. Look at one still point in front of you. Just one more breath here. Try to find your balance if you can. And then on the next breath, let's bring the knee into the chest without pulling the pelvis forward. On the next breath, circle the right foot all the way back and then step it back into your warrior two position. So I'm going to turn this way so I don't have my back to you. So the outside edge of the right foot is pressing down into the mat. We're engaging the muscles in the right quad and then bending down through the left knee, making sure that the left knee is in line with your hip and your left toes. And that the left foot is about, uh, the heel, if you draw a line, is reaching about the center arch of the right foot. All right, lift into the belly, press down and come into a deep lunge. Press the hands down to ground everything downwards below the hip while you lift everything upwards above the hip and then take the arms to opposite ends of your mat. Roll the shoulders back. Take your gaze over your left fingertips. Take a moment also to notice if you're leaning too far forward or if you're leaning back. You wanna bring the shoulders directly on top of the hips and everything is in the center between both legs. On the next breath, let's straighten the left knee and then bring the right foot a little bit closer. We'll come into our triangle pose. 
pulling up the muscles above both kneecaps, slight micro bend in the knees. Take the left fingertips as far forward as you can as you point the right hip towards the back of the mat. And then take the left hand down towards your left thigh, your left shin onto your block or all the way down on the mat if you feel like you have that openness in the, in the body. Spin the right shoulder open and then maybe take the right arm up to the sky. Gaze upwards towards your right hand or down towards your left hand. One more breath here. And then on the next breath, coming back up to standing. And then standing back to the top of your mat. And bring the feet about hip width distance apart, toes pointing forward. And then sit the hips all the way down and reach the hands forward into our chair pose. So here, we don't want to have this arch in the spine. We actually want to scoop under just a tad so that your lower abs are really engaged and then shift the weight onto the heels of your feet. So if you look down, you should see your toes. So your knees are not covering your toes. So weight into the heels. On the next breath, let's sit down even further. We'll take the arms back, interlace the fingers, and then lift the arms behind your head as you drop the head down. A little stretch for the shoulders while we're still activating through the legs. Next breath, let's come back up, release the hands to the hips and then take them forward again, lifting yourself back up a little bit and then breathing out, sitting down even further, bring the arms back, take them behind your head. And then releasing the hands down to your hips, standing all the way back up, reach up with the arms. Let's come onto tippy toes. Just find a nice stretch through your entire body. And then lower down. Let's find our eagle pose now. So again, bring the weight into the right leg. We're gonna cross the left thigh over the right thigh. The left toes can come down next to the outside of the right uh, foot, or if you can, you might want to wrap them all the way around your calf. So just take the variation that suits you. Try not to stick this hip out, but keep everything in alignment. Core is active. Let's take the right arm underneath. Left arm comes over top, so you cross the elbows. And if you can, you're going to cross the forearms and then press the palms together. If that's not happening for you today, that's fine. Just give yourself a nice big hug. You're still getting the same benefits and the same stretch. All right, try to stay balanced. Gaze on that one still point. Maybe if you can, you bend down a little bit further. Let's just hold for one more breath here. Keep the belly engaged. Legs nice and strong. And then coming up to standing. Ooh, shake out the legs. Let's do the other side. So right thigh will cross on top of the left thigh, either toes down on the outside of the left foot, or you're wrapping the toes all the way around the calf. Sitting down a little bit more and bending that left knee. Left arm goes underneath this time, right arm over top and either spinning the hands all the way around to press the palms or you're holding on to your uh, shoulders. Pressing down all parts of your left foot to help you with that balance. And then on the next breath, let's stand back up, shake out the legs. All right, nice job. Come back to the top of the mat. Take the hands down the backs of the thighs again, bend the knees and fold all the way down, drawing the hands down the backs of the legs. Come again into a forward fold, using your blocks if you need, finding the nice straight spine. Nice little relaxing breath here. And then let's come to sit all the way down on the mat. Coming into our Janu Shasasana. So we'll take the right leg forward and the left uh, sole of the foot comes against the right uh, inner thigh. So just like in our tree pose when we lifted the leg all the way up. We're gonna flex this right foot. Think about pressing the back of the right knee down to the mat. If you find that you have a little um, rounding of the spine here, you're very welcome to take a block or a blanket and sit on top of that. It will help you find a little bit more um, 
uh, opening here. So you want to think about rocking onto the front of your sitting bones. From there, let's reach the arms up. Legs are active. And then breathing out, keep the length in the spine. See if you can reach as far forward, keeping the back straight as you can. Once you've hit your limit, bring the hands down. Maybe you walk them further down and just find a release here with the head. Still active with this right leg, pressing the backs of the knees down. And on the next breath, walk your hands back up towards your body. And we'll take the left leg and cross it over the right thigh. Again, trying to find that nice um, uh, straight spine here. Let's take the right arm, hug the left knee into the chest, reach the left arm up and all the way back, finding a nice twist here. Maybe taking your gaze over your left shoulder. Every breath in, you feel the length going upwards. And every breath out, maybe you find a little more depth in your twist. On the next breath, let's spin back to the center and we'll change legs. So left leg goes in front, right leg, bring the sole of the foot against the inner left thigh. Flex the left toes towards the knee and press down the back of the knee down to the mat. Breathe in, reach the arms up to the sky. And breathe out, hinging forward from your hips, reaching as far forward as you can with the straight spine. And then bring the hands down. Maybe staying here and just relaxing the head. Or maybe you feel that you can walk a little further forward and drop the body over the left leg. Keep activated through your left leg and sinking the right knee down to the mat. And on the next breath, walking the hands back towards your body, taking that right leg and crossing it over the left thigh. Hug the right knee into your chest with your left arm. Reach the right arm up to the sky, find length, and then twist through the body, bringing the right hand down behind you. Maybe taking your gaze over your right shoulder. Finding a lifting sensation with every breath in and twisting more deeply with every breath out. And on the next breath, let's come back to the center. Let's release the block over to the side if you are using one and then come to lie down on the mat. Hug your knees into your chest and just rock from side to side. And then we can come straight into our Shavasana. So let's extend the legs out nice and long. If the feet have a tendency to roll out to the sides, then just let them do that. Arms come to either side with the palms facing up. Little micro tuck of the chin to lengthen through the back of your neck. Close your eyes and just let everything sink down, down towards the earth. Finding stillness in your body. Finding complete relaxation. Maybe imagining there was a gentle weight on top of your body, a heavy blanket and that's helping you sink down into this soft bed or maybe it's a soft bed of grass or some soft sand. Imagine yourself sinking down deeper and deeper.
then slowly bringing your awareness back to where you are. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Rolling ankles and wrists. And then rolling over onto your favorite side, using your arms as a pillow and keeping your eyes closed. Just staying here for a moment. Soaking up the effects of your practice today. And then slowly coming back up to a seat. All right, thank you everyone for joining me for this complete beginner's flow. I hope you learned something and was able to take something away with you. If you want more full length beginner flows, then please check out my 10 day beginner uh, challenge in the description box below. And please make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment with how you uh, felt after today's class. I will see you next time here on the mat. Bye.